Everett with a national news briefing. 138,000 jobs were lost last month as a result of lockdowns in New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT. Latest job stats show the national unemployment rate rose 0.1 of a percent to 4.6. The Federal Employment Minister says it's crucial the country starts opening up for things to improve. Stuart Robert joining calls for Queensland's Premier to reveal the state's reopening plan. It's quite a simple question for Premier Palaszczuk. At 70 per cent Premier, what happens? At 80 per cent Premier, what happens? The two other large states can answer those questions. Why can't Queensland? The Health Minister is confident that Pfizer will get the green light for the COVID vaccine to be given to kids aged 5 to 11. Greg Hunt has confirmed the TGA has asked for the company to apply for approval in Australia following trials in the US. Victoria has passed a bleak new record, surpassing 2,000 daily COVID cases. It's reported 2,297 local infections overnight and sadly 11 more lives have been lost. An online forum intended for the Muslim community, which included two Taliban members, has been cancelled. It's after the New South Wales government contacted the Australian Federation of Islamic Councils, asking for the event to be called off. The state's premier, Dominic Perrottet, says he was incredibly concerned after discovering those plans this morning. And I think there'd be a lot of people today who have served in Afghanistan or have had loved ones who, have, who were lost fighting in Afghanistan would be deeply shocked and saddened. Um, to see that report today. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. Cricket Australia has appointed Richard Freudenstein as its new chair. CEO Nick Hockley says now the board can focus on organising the Ashes. The action will kick off on December 8 at the Gabba in Queensland. Planning an Ashes series is a, is a big, complex endeavour. Uh, in normal times, but obviously with the the overlay of, of biosecurity requirements, um, the level of the de- uh, level of detail of planning, you know, is is, is absolutely superb. Buying or selling rural or residential properties, Miller, One and John. This is SAFM weather. A higher chance of rain on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 4 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, showers and 16 degrees. Saturday, showers easing 15. For radio podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.